and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our next deck today. We got some Orzov life gain. Um, as you all know, we played some mono white life gain in best of one yesterday. This is kind of similar, but we're going Orzov style because we get the Cauldron Familiar Witches Oven combo that can you know be able to give us plenty of life gain triggers to be able to trigger our Johnny's Pride Mate, our Bloodthirsty Aerialist, you know, trigger our Heliod Sun Crowned as well. Um, plus, we get a lot better interaction playing black and white. Uh, you know, we got these cards to spark Mortify Oath of Kaya, another good life gain card, and just a lot better sideboard. You know, basically every single I mean, well, yeah, all, all of the cards in our sideboard are black, and so, um, so yeah, let's let's kind of see how this this uh, fits. But but yeah, besides just a Johnny's Pride Mate being a, a big time uh, card for for why we're gaining life, we also have the the Bloodthirsty Aerialist. So we have our Flyer that allows us to gain life. Curving out from Daxos with White White to Bloodthirsty Aerialist at one black black is pretty tough. You can see we got a lot of dual lands in here. Hopefully it goes just fine. Um, but yeah, this should work pretty good. I like you know Midnight Reaper. This this deck should let us draw a lot of cards, um, and we don't really have to worry about the damage to us too much because we have the life gain. But every time we sack like you know Cauldron Familiar, we get to draw a card. That could be pretty sweet. Um, if our Heli you know if Heliod's in the graveyard. Um, for some reason, you know, if it was discarded or whatever, if it's in the graveyard for some reason, we, you can use Soren, you can play Soren, minus three, bring back Heliod, um, and then, you know, your creatures have lifelink because of Soren, and you attack it, and then you get the Heliod triggers, that, like, so that, that works pretty well, you know, Heliod is a creature in the graveyard. So yeah, let's, let's see how this Orzov life gain deck does. Alright, so we're gonna play it through a league, we're gonna play it till we win five or lose two, whatever happens first. Gonna go ahead and try this. You know, on the play with Pride Mate on two. <laughs> no, yeah, Walking Ballista is not in is not in standard, so no, we do not have any Walking Ballistas. <laughs> yeah, today's basically Donation Deck Tuesday. Um, catching up on some donation decks that I needed to. Keep that. SK wins. Brand new Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much there, SK wins. Welcome to the channel. Alright, so let's play. Let's play Heliod. Culture Familiar. Gain a life, get some triggers. Nightmare Shepherd. Like a land or a witch's oven? Alright, land. We're going to uh, destroy target enchantment. And now we get to give the Pride Mate lifelink.
<clears throat> so we're trying to get there. There's Grey Merchant. If I Oath of Kaya the Ayara, then they sack the Ayara to the Witch's Oven, and then I don't actually gain life. Heliod just has one pip, right? Yeah, so if I play this... Oh, but I play the Oath of Kaya also. Turns on Heliod. All right, so we'll go... New Pride Mate. This. I guess I'm still supposed to do this. Because then they only have one blocker. Mm. Oh, wow. Now they just have no blockers. Yeah, pinging the face, would we would have been able to kill them also if we would have just hit... hit. Basically, we were good. We were going to be just fine no matter which way we did it. So, Kaya can get rid of Witch's Oven. And Cauldron Familiar. I'm not sure what I don't want, though. You know, Dispark has some good targets. Like, if we play, like, Dispark, Kaya, Mortify, Oath of Kaya. What don't I want? I mean, they're, they're four mana, four, four flyers. And it's kind of like one of their scariest cards, as far as Dispark is concerned. We still have Mortify for it, also. I don't know. All these cards seem pretty good. Guess we can just kind of get rid of a Daxos. And we need to trim these threes. I guess an Aerialist. And just play one Kaya. Yeah, I think Oath has some pretty good targets. Mostly a Yara is like the best target. But then it's also just a good way to gain life and stuff. And yeah, hit them. Um, they'll have, you know, like other smaller creatures like your Ox Fenlurker and maybe they're playing like Timurit. I wish I had another another Kaya instead of just the one. This is the exact kind of hand that I want to have Kaya against. Well, they missed land drops, but so did I.
We need one more land. Okay. Like, we were just at a stalemate right there. It's not like I could really like attack through. I guess they didn't like that they only had two lands also. Yeah, there's three Heliod in the deck. Yeah, they could have seen me miss a land drop and everything, but I don't know. It kind of seemed like that was a a tilt concession. Orzhov and Forza. How many swamps we got in here? Five. Well, we found four of the five. I'm gonna play Heliod first before the familiar so I get the trigger. I don't think it's like that vital to have Cauldron Familiar in play. Hey, JJ. The Woe Strider. If they have Nightmare Shepherd, we're going to be in trouble. Plus, they just got six cards. Doesn't look the best for us. card. Okay. I'll do some work. Soldier. I am proud of best of three. Yep, just decided. basically Mondays is our best of one day. Yeah, we got all best of three today.
Waffle. Nine months. Thank you, Waffle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so Benthic Biomancer... Bio, yeah, Benthic Biomancer, Minotaur, and Heliod can be an infinite combo. It's the full name of that Minotaur. I don't remember. So yeah, Nightmare Shepherd is a problem. I traded with the the real creature, not the token, because the creature draws his cards. <clears throat> hey, Elder Two. Obviously, where I'm at, I really want another card. It's twelve months. Thank you so much, Elder Two. True strength lies in our friendships. I'm trying to beat this Woe Strider Nightmare Shepherd combo is gonna be pretty tough. Attacked a Johnny. Yeah, they could have done like one damage. Yeah, Sam, I'm doing good. You know, I wasn't planning on getting rid of one of those, but after drawing the Witch's Oven this last turn, my plans changed. Aerialist is a... that's a good one.
Gonna put the counter on the Midnight Reaper so it doesn't die to Dread Presence. Draw a card. <sighs> what happens if I would give Midnight Reaper li life link and then it cuz it does one damage to me but then I gain a lot but then it's one life link damage does that count as as gaining a life Guess we're gonna find out. Sweet. All right, so I guess I'm going to just make this Bloodthirsty Aerialis super big. This Nightmare Shepherd is destroying me. Close of the aerial sword. I thought it was like a bat or something. Is it not a bat? No, it's it's a it's somebody hanging upside down. Yeah, it's a vampire hanging upside down. I need a. Can I sack the Heliod? I need another creature to sacrifice to Oven so I can get a food so I can bring back the Cauldron Familiars now. I guess Daxo counts.
Okay, what do I want to give lifelink? Probably just this aerialist for now. Oh, right, they just block and sack. I should not give that thing lifelink. Should have gave it to the Reaper. They didn't sacrifice. Wow, I'm lucky. Man, Woe Strider Liliana is pretty rough too. Man, we are we are just really dead. Yeah, I'm really dead. There's no reason to put the counter on the Daxos. The Daxos is gonna die. I need Cauldron Familiar back. I need to draw more cards. I need to find my I need to find an Othakaya or a Despark to get rid of this Liliana, but still, I got millions of cards. Need to get rid of the shepherd. But yeah, I guess we could. Yeah, I mean, if we did play Shadow Spear in the main, I took it out of the sideboard. You know, I said don't like it in the sideboard, but it could be a main deck card. We got rid of the Woe Strider. Well, now we're not getting rid of the Daxos. We'll put the counter on the Daxos. That's true, though. I could have just anyway. tried putting counters on Daxos to make it bigger to let me get two foods anyway. Yeah, I don't, how do we ever get through? we ever get through Is the answer is just we don't it's possible <clears throat> we're gonna try to mill them out well they got 40 cards left <laughs> uh. Chill, Arena. Okay, that's a good start. I suppose. I guess I'm I guess I'm dead. They're saying good game. Gotta have like great merchants and stuff, right? But we're gonna need to gain a lot of life. I guess I could have played the Scoured Barons first. Kind of want to see what I what I draw though. 
in case I... In case I want to play something for three mana, like if it's Othakaya. How many lands we have in here? 25. It's already 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You know, 12 out of 25. You know, like we're... Not quite to halfway through the deck. Halfway through the lands. It's, that's... Among the expected variation, I suppose. Demir Kraken. Right. Yeah, my favorite deck in standard right now is Demir Kraken. Not let them gain their life. No, I haven't picked a day for the 12 hour stream yet. I think it probably the weekend. Um, We have sub battle Saturday coming up this this Saturday. We could have that be a twelve hour stream.
Uh, they're at 1630. I'm at, I don't know, maybe 18, maybe 13. Could really be anything. So I like this. This gets rid of any non-land card, right? Good. So I like I like this. I like them exiling my Heliod. That helps out my castle. I don't take as much damage. Just gets that thing out of out of my hand. I've yeah, I've never played Pioneer. I don't I don't really have any opinion on Pioneer. It looks cool. But you know, like Magic's pretty cool. So, like, they get to sacrifice Cavalier of Night, bring back Cavalier of Night, sacrifice something else, kill a Johnny's Pride mate. Oh, so they're not doing that. I'm just bringing back another Orzhov Enforcer. I mean, obviously, I can kill Cavalier of Night by blocking. Close mind to dying. Three, six, seven. Let's see. This has this. So three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So Gray Merchant would do thirteen. I can gain a whole lot of life if I lifelink this pride mate. Which I guess I'm going to do that. You know, I just trade it with this this thing. It keeps me alive for a while. Oh, uh, I thought they were at 13. I guess they're at 16. It was basically either do that, gain a lot of life, or activate Castle Ardenvale and get another 1-1. One, one. So, am I at 15-01? Uh, 
Yeah, this is the first game. Two Dread Presents? Ugh. Wait, they didn't just play the Dread Presents and then play their land, though? It's an impatient attack. Not gonna have lands left. <laughs> hey, Anomaly. Thanks to the Twitch Prime sub. They said no blocks. Is it possible for me to kill my opponent? Can I do 28 damage? Probably not. Right? How much could we possibly do? So that's one, one, There's no way we can't do 27 damage, but so I'm at 12:44, so I'm lower in time. It's not a great spot to be. Yeah, Nightmare Shepherd destroyed us both these games. So it, we we really shouldn't even be in this game. Like if they if they would not have, like if they would have not if they would have never just got rid of their Woe Strider, like that didn't really make sense. Getting rid of the Woe Strider and um and getting rid of their Liliana, I guess the. None of those moves really made sense. Wish we didn't have to click so much for the Cauldron Familiar.
They haven't played Grey Merchant this whole time, and they keep saying good game. It's got to be because of Grey Merchant. <clears throat> right? It's got to be. Hmm. Or not. Trying to play fast. I guess I'm going to be losing this on time. I could keep this going and stay alive for a while, but I guess I'm just like losing a lot of time. I need to use both hands. I need to spacebar click some more. So the problem there they are gonna kill my Johnny's Pride mate. That's just gonna happen. One minute behind now. Why can't you just auto sack the food? Why do I have to choose sack this, submit? The seconds are costing me. Sure, yeah, keep pumping that. Keep doing that. Oh, 
I'm catching up on time. Catching up on time. So they exile this, bring it back. Get some more triggers. Sack something. Basically, our ways to win are them like drawing their whole library or really like the whole time thing, probably. Play my land. I need spells. It's not going to do it. Well, that's the last turn. I can't survive now. I survived for a very long time. Much longer than I ever should have. But I cannot survive anymore. No, there's not a wrath in the deck. Yeah, it's in game one. Pretty epic game. <laughs> this is a survivalist deck. <laughs> yeah, this is not the first 8-8 cat. It's probably like the fourth 8-8 cat we've had. <laughs> not, not including pride mates, just cauldron familiars. Finally dead. My opponent now has 6 minutes and 47 seconds to finish killing me. 6 minutes 44 seconds to kill me game 2. And to that I say good luck. So we saw Nightmare Shepherd completely annihilate us. So I think I want these to Sparks. I don't think I don't think sideboarding uses up your time. Like sideboarding is a separate clock. Um. So what am I sideboarding out?
one aerialist, one Daxos, one uh, guess one Heliod. We saw there like us draw like the multiple Heliods. They didn't have any sacrifice outlets because they got rid of the Woe Strider. Yeah, Command the Dread Horde could be a really good card to have. Like in the sideboard and everything. Oh, that is true, Trinity. I didn't really think about the 1 2 Death Touch. That was really annoying for us. So, yeah, we could have had Legion's End. But I guess we got Othakaya for that. All right, we got Speed Play. Opponent's already slow playing. It's good for us. And now I'm already down to 18. I shocked so I could have Castle Art and Veil untapped. Just destroy, right? Yeah. Are they gonna get, get my Ajani? It's fine. Bloodlust. I think Soren's more important. Not killing the Soren. Bold. The weak the well, I guess I'm not going to be able to get that back because of the Elspeth's Nightmare trigger. Kill them too fast. They're gonna have time for their game. This song, this is Kiefer Sutherland, "Something You Love." All right, the twenty-four, the star of twenty-four, is also a musician. Won that game in a minute and a half on their clock. It's not much time. Yeah. I mean, that was like just the nuts curve, right? Pride mate into aerialist into Soren. Soren dominated that. So now we're going to game three.
Did the timer go? Did their timer go down from the sideboarding? I don't know. I did. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. But I don't know. Someone has to go like watch. Like look at what. Look at what. A, Someone should check that. Look at what our times were both at the very beginning, like whenever we left the game, and then see what our times were whenever we came back. I should just play the Scour Barons. Like we're not gonna be able to <clears throat> not gonna be able to save all of them. get that out of there. Nothing. Nothing to duress. My opponent clicking Leo nice and all this stuff is just wasting their time. So I got two thirty five. Stuck on lands. I'd we'll be surprised if they can kill us in two twenty six. Don't think they'll be able to. to do that double block force them to activate spend their turn doing that just got to make sure I don't take up too much time that I go underneath them or also killing them
Shepard out of here. Down to 410. I am a Johnny Goldman. French. 40. <laughs> no, I mean, we're, this is still a donation deck. We're still in a league. We're playing until we win five or lose two. I know this, this match took a little while. This match took a minute. I thought with that first game that we we're going to be trying to win on time, but it looks like we're actually going to be able to finish games two and three, I guess maybe unless they, unless they stall like this, but you know, like this, this is definitely a game that we're winning. Yeah. I don't really know how they, they were going to win from here. Yeah, I mean, like, we're just going to, like, they're at eight. Now they're dead. Like, this is six triggers. They don't even get another turn. And that's game. I'll just play this other Cauldron Familiar for brevity's sake. But, you know, like, we would have sacrificed that. There we go. Had the, yeah, the one drops carried. Plenty of time. Ugh, GG's. <laughs> Thanks, Anna Tran. Thanks for the big cheer. That was a good match. So did that, that first game. That first game was a really good game. But... It lasted much longer than it should have, because my opponent could have done a much better job killing me, but... Yeah. Oh, Castle's not going to come into play untapped. So we can't quite curve Daxos into Aerialist. We're gonna try though. Yeah, yeah. We finished two games in six minutes. It's a cat command. Nothing wrong with mortify. Oh, maybe I should just keep it. I should probably just keep it. Yeah, at least that, that first game probably had over 500 life between the two of us.
Hmm. God, the shrine does turn on the you know turns the castles. I don't think I keep it though. All right, now it's our turn to uh, try to uh, dig through Cauldron Familiar. Double Cauldron Familiar, double oven. Yeah, you start with 30, yeah, each person starts with 30 minutes. I'm already up a minute. I really hope they don't have claim the first board, you know, steal my bloodthirsty aerialist and hit me for a whole lot. Because this aerialist is going to be huge. I mean, Soren's my best play, but that is, you know, Soren's then vulnerable. Maybe it's not, maybe it's just Heliod's the best play. Uh, Soren's the best play. But this doesn't, you know, this means they're not going to be able to steal the aerialist and kill the Soren. At least. Definitely need to mortify the wrinkle. That wrinkle's going to dominate. Hey, baloney pony.
Go, Bloodthirsty Aerialist, go. <laughs> I love Twitch. Without Twitch, you might go your whole life without hearing the words, hey, baloney pony. Yeah, they've yeah, uncommons have been banned before. Murder. Murdered my aerialist. So I want to minus and get Aerialist back, but I think that's kind of an unnecessary risk because if we do that and then they draw a removal spell, they kill, you know, like Aerialist or Pride Mate and then get to attack it and kill Soren. I think it's probably better to just tick up first and then be able to have Mortify, you know, be able to minus next turn. Oh, no. I've been trying so hard to not have this Soren die. And they top decked Act of Treason. Oh my gosh. Wow. Man, J Jack, that's your fault. You said Act. It's your fault. Man, that was. That was rough. I thought, yeah, I was very confident in us winning that game until that happened. Treasure Cruise was a common. Dick Through Time was rare. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're looking like we're going to be losing now. I need to have that Soren stay alive. Life total is getting a little low for Castle Lock Twain.
That act of treason draw. So one my opponent this game. I mean, giving Reaper lifelink and attacking doesn't work. Oh, I guess it will work this time because they used both their Witch's Ovens already. Wouldn't usually work. Yeah, like I might as well put the counters on Heliod, I guess, but I don't really know how I'm activating this Heliod or how I'm turning the Heliod into a creature, I mean. Use another aerialist, you know, something in the air. Okay. So do I want a minus for a jaunt for a pride mate, but then they get to kill my minus for Pride Mate, they get to kill a Johnny. Or I just tick up and keep gaining life. I think we tick up. Strength. 
I should make the Cauldron Familiar two power and toughness so they have to activate Knight. Right? Yeah, well, Knight has Death Touch, and plus they, they just get to chump block the big Pride Mate, and then um, they just chump block Pride Mate, and then uh, sacrifice, and Pride Mate doesn't do any damage. And then, yeah, Knight has Death Touch. It Yeah, we, we have certainly struggled getting devotion, enough devotion with Heliod. Well, I'm glad they're tapping out for no reason. You can just draw more cards. They're at 17 minutes, I'm at 23. Okay. Let me remind you to fear the Think about getting Daxos. One, two, three, four. Yeah, Daxos turns on Heliod. Oh, I guess. Accept the darkness within. Now, do I want a Pride Mate? <clears throat> It kind of depends on what happens here. If they let the damage happen and me gain nine life, then I'm going to grab a pride mate. If they don't, then I'm going to be ticking up a Johnny. Surprised they didn't do that first and then block with Cauldron Familiar and then sacrifice Cauldron Familiar. That's what they should have done. Then they wouldn't have had to get rid of their Midnight Reaper. So this is, you know, very good for me that Midnight Reaper is gone. So we got to gain that that life, so I can grab a pride mate. My pride grows stronger. And it's just not going to be a creature on their side, right? Like, that doesn't do anything, right? If they can't sacrifice that to Witch's Oven, I'm pretty sure. So I don't have to sack it to Oven. We should be able to get that back.
working up my appetite. So we'll get Heliod back, but it looks like they're going to kill Soren. Oh, that's a bad attack. I love it. No, I can't. I can't protect Soren because they can just sac they just sacrifice their Dreadhorde Butcher to the Witch's Oven. I can try. So. Maybe they won't do that. Now they use the other Witch's Oven, so if they want to kill... If they want to kill Dread, Sack Dread Horde Butcher, then they won't have any blockers. They won't be able to sacrifice, and I'm going to be able to gain a lot of life with Heliod making these things lifelink next turn. Yeah, so now now they're not even sacking Dreadhorde Butcher. So this this looks really good for me now. We went from like dead last turn to they could just be dead now. What does this zero ability do? Ah, uh, just the ones they control, so not the ones in their graveyard. I guess I could have just played this first. Whatever. Doesn't matter. So they'll be able to keep one cauldron familiar. Unless they bring it back. Oh my gosh, they just didn't block? What? How'd they just not block? 18. I don't feel like we should have won this game. Just lethal. Okay. Well, uh, I'll stretch. Bring in Legion's End and. Othakaya, or sorry, regular Kaya. Othakaya is not bad either. So, 64. Hmm. I 
cut the pride mate. Pride mate's still pretty good. Definitely trim in a Heliod. And I guess we don't need three Mortify for Othakaya. We just have to be able to kill May Mayhem Devil. That's the really important thing. I like taking a Pride Mate out, though. Hmm. Aaron, welcome back. Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub, fourteen months. For sub number 15. <sighs> this deck is a grind. <laughs> Alright, cool. See you every day. This deck is a grind. You know, we've used the opponents over, over half of their time in that one game. Oh no. Ouch. Gets rid of my cauldron familiar. This could be like the longest video that we've ever had has that potential. Really? Sack a creature? Not artifact? <laughs> Use Soren to reanimate the cat. Active trees and on aerialist can be can be rough. What 
Narnian, what what's what's the question? I should not have brought back the cat already. I am a Johnny Goldman, and I will See, I could have brought it back here, put another counter on this, but oh well. Oh, there's a new camera frame. Oh, okay. For Theros. So I should I could sure replace the camera frame that I have right now with the Theros one. Okay. There's a constellation themed webcam frame. Alright, I'll have to look into that. that down done those things <laughs> oh okay I got you Narnan uh, thanks hey fintech yeah you have a great evening as well thanks for joining So I need another white before we get to play Daxos. <laughs> another called and familiar matchup. Hey, what's up, Don's? Don's daughter. Thanks for keeping that sub going. So it looks like Rakdos sacrifice again. Gets us to 16. Deck is kind of weak to like these steel effects. Like these, they're not like the best pairings for us. They st steal the creatures. So I'm gonna play Daxos first. I don't want them to steal Aerialist, honestly. Maybe I just need to be more aggressive and play Aerialist. Yeah, it's still just removal. Yeah, I guess I should just play Aerialist. Uh, I don't like that scry to the top. Well, they don't have Claim the Firstborn. You know, like how it auto-tapped and tapped the red source. Now they'll be able to have the Cauldron Familiar thing. This Pride Mate's like never going to do any damage. Um, it's basically all Aerialist and 
getting more damage in with Cauldron Familiar. Inglewood Jack. One year hype. It's all about this this area list and just hope they don't have removal for it. Time to pump these up. This is a pretty, pretty crazy combination. Yeah. Yeah, we could have Shadow Spear in here. <clears throat> All right, they just give up. Aerialist was going to do it. Yeah, Shadow Spear could give that those Pride Mates trample and be able to do a whole lot. All right, so now we have to kill Woe Strider and Mayhem Devil. So I am going to have all of that stuff. So we'll take out... Um, Pride Mate, Heliod, a Johnny Strength of the Pride, a the Spark, um, I guess another Daxos and Pride Mate. If I, if I take out more Daxos, we're just never going to turn on these Heliods. Strider keeps coming back. I think we just play Agonizing Remorse. Ors of Control. Let's try this. Thanks, Aeneas. Yeah, I guess, I guess, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess Shadow Spear, yeah, that'd be nice, you know, having that trample would be really nice. Hmm. 
<laughs> Alright, we have the Daxos Aerialist Curve. It's a difficult one to pull off. But we got it. Yeah, I can hear the music as well. Oh, maybe I should just wait on Familiar, actually, to trigger the Aerialist again. Well, didn't really need to pay that to life, I guess. Yeah, exile that Woe Strider. The of course has escape, so it can keep coming back. So agonizing remorse did a good job. No, there's no Erebus's uh, intervention. Taken five. They need a sack outlet, obviously. I think it's worth the risk of them not having a sack outlet. Alright, no oven. They're just going aggro. Thanks for pumping up my aerialist opponent. That was nice of you. Get to claim it again. But all that's doing is just a lot of damage. Unless they top stack the uh, sack outlet. I hope not. All right, they're drawing all three, so now they, they have to draw Witch's Oven. That's their only out. So they get three cards. No Oven. Concede. Boom. And we're 4-0. Four and O. Oh. All right, y'all know what that means. That means we're going to be trying for the final boss. So sorry, Decemberists. We need to get our final boss playlist. And let's battle. Final boss hype with Orzov Life Gain. When I start playing Magic, um, basically World Wake, however, however long ago that was. So, um, I played like some before that. It's not exactly like really when I started, but that's whenever I started playing Magic Online a lot and playing a whole lot. 
Um, I'm not sure that answer, Andrew. <laughs> yep, it, it's actually been exactly two hours. So, you know, 30 minutes a match. Can't even find anybody for us. World Awake was Feb 2010. So 10 years ago. thing is like you know play scoured barons or wait for aerialist <clears throat> looks like we're gonna have three mana so we can wait we can play it on turn four My favorite card of all time is courser of crucifix looks like we got a mirror match i'll make them think we're mono black for a little bit Vampire Returns. Vampire dies again. Esper. They switched up their strategy. Either make one ones or draw cards. My watch is a Vincero. I think that's how you pronounce it. Draw cards. My random card's probably better than a one one. Good, Sergio. Sorry, I had to sneeze. <laughs> but yeah, I'm doing good, Sergio. Thanks. Bounce this. No wrong oath of Kaya. That's it's not protecting me. I bounced the other one. I think of one. You don't even have a plan B? This 
Might be a bad idea. All right. <clears throat> Dealing with this thief of sanity is going to be kind of difficult. Never mind. Figured it out. Ellis, branded new, awesome Twitch Prime sub. So I want to try killing Teferi in one go, and not letting, uh, not letting their Othakaya trigger millions times. Card in hand. They're probably running sweepers. They just have the one card. So yeah, I was gonna go. I was gonna go for it, but also there's a chance they're not. I mean, they're playing Thief of Sanity. There's a chance they're not, but I'd say they probably are. Ugh. So I definitely want those agonizing remorses. Thief of Sandy's super scary, so I kind of want to play more removal. I think they're a Dream Trawler deck. Maybe they are. Maybe I'll just play Libation instead of Mortify. Yeah, Heliod just doesn't even matter in this matchup, right? Hmm. I don't think I need Noxious Grasp. Othakai can take out Teferi also, if we need to. Alright, Baloney Pony, have a good night. Yeah, this is probably, I mean, I guess against Esper Hero, you know, like if if we do see Hero Precinct 1, I probably need, probably need the, I probably, maybe, uh, I need the, uh, um, I don't know, the, the one in a black exile stuff that costs two or less and all the stuff with the same name. I need that card because... If they just have like tokens, they'll make Farika's libation pretty rough. So I kinda need to get rid of tokens. Legion's end, yeah. 
Oh, I'm not sure, Fintech. Um, a lot of the money I've spent on arenas be is for the card styles and sleeves and stuff like that. But with this being my full-time job, I mean, it's a, it's a tax write-off. No, this is the cat. This is the first pet. They're getting a second basic planes. And their FIFA Sanity deck. No, I have not MC. Not. A Johnny or Soren? I think Soren's a better card. There is no greater treasure than quiet times with friends. Friendship. Final boss did not do very much. All right, victory fanfare. Five and O. Oh. Where's our prize? I just claimed it. Where's it at? There it is. 2,100 gold. That was a good league. wasn't the wasn't the fastest deck, but definitely felt really powerful. You know, like played great defense. I think it felt more powerful than just mono white. You know, if you like life gain stuff, um, yeah. If if you like life gain stuff, this is what this is what I'd recommend. Uh, just spark didn't necessarily seem like something we really needed in those matches. But, I mean, I think that was also just kind of more of our pairings. I like having the spark in there. Um, but, yeah, the deck, deck played really well. And, uh, you know, it was powerful. Aerialist was powerful. Um, Cauldron Familiar triggering these things all the time. It's powerful. This, is, this just felt like a pretty good deck. Um, yeah, Castle Lock Twain with the... Both the castles are just awesome. But yeah, Castle Lock Twain with gaining lots of life was really good. We got to draw a lot of extra cards with that. And, you know, so yeah, like people were saying, like, well, life gain stuff don't usually have, you know, you don't have enough card draw. Well, Midnight Reaper drew a lot of cards, especially with Midnight Reaper Cauldron Familiar, but then also Castle Lock Twain was another really good way to, to draw cards. So yeah, so those of y'all wanted to play life gain stuff at like FNM. I think I'd recommend Orzov over Mono White. I really liked how this deck played. Um, yeah, we had that one match that took like an hour, but the all the other four matches together was just like a little bit over an hour. So it wasn't it really wasn't that slow. <clears throat> all right, uh, what do you think about the mana base? The man, I mean, it, it actually worked pretty well. Yeah, I mean, I I was happy with it. it yeah, basically, I was happy with the mana base. So I was just fine with it. Uh, how would you adjust this for best of one? I probably would not play to spark in best of one. I'd probably play another oath of Kaya instead of the Dispark. And then from there, I'd kind of play some games and see how it played and see if there was anything else I wanted to change. Um, but I think that's, that's the one thing I do is probably just play the fourth oath of, oath of Kaya and not play to spark. Yeah, we don't have very many two drops, which <clears throat> isn't amazing. You know, I wish we had more two drops. But then again, 
we do have eight one drops. You know, a lot of mid-range decks like this don't have that many one drops. So we still have a, a kind of low curve. You know, 2.4 is pretty low. You know, so we have 16 cards to play before turn three. So yeah, I think it was fine. All right, so those of y'all watching on later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and let me know how this deck goes. If you're playing this deck, uh, you know, let me know how you like the uh, Orzov Life Gain deck. All right, but thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.